bladder cancer. Cancers are the second commonest cancers of the urogenital system. And among the urogenital tumors, it's the second commonest cause of death. Like any other cancer, most cancers, by the time you feel pain or anything, they have already moved beyond control. So bladder cancer is one of those cancers where, where by the time you patients present, three quarters of them are beyond any help or they can we cannot do much however it's only about a, th a quarter of them that present early sometimes you just have uh, low annual tract symptoms like frequency a bit of dysuria painful micturition and the most common symptom is passing of bloody urine cancer bladder can be detected by get these low urinary tract symptoms like frequency that is going to frequently to the to the to the toilet and then also burning sensation when urinating and passing of fragments in your urine or blood, you need to go and see a doctor. Now, sometimes the cancer can be so early that you can't see anything. So we take off random biopsies or we can take off tissues and go and check them in the lab. Now, if we can see anything, we are able to either take a biopsy of it, that can take a, a sample of it, and test what type of cancer it is because even bladder cancer has very many types there are about five types which we all manage differently when we get it early we can either cut it out through an endoscopic procedure called a TRBT we cut it out and then we infuse your bladder with some chemotherapy which data we begin following you up after three months after six months after a year after two years, after five years, after three years, after five years. So really looking whether the cancer has come back or not, depending on the time. And then there are those where we shall, after we have cut it out, we put a drug called BCG to try to prevent it from coming back. And then we also have modalities of where we have to do surgery. Now, all these things can be done here. We have the expertise, we have the equipment, we have a very good cancer institute which can be able to follow up the patient and follow them up both sides the, the the medical oncologist and the urologist can keep working together until the patient gets better.